Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam wa Akwath. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakaha Kwadash. Yahweh means he is, he exists, which the world inwardly calls God. Yahweh Shai means he saves, he delivers, which the world inwardly calls Jesus Christ. I want to give double honors and respect to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that push 100% this truth. I am your brother, Yohanan, representing prophets of Pasadena, Texas. Uh, with a lesson about pestilence, man, which is the beginning of sorrows, which is a major prophecy that we're waiting for. We're waiting for that next pandemic, that next big pandemic that's going to have the whole world shook, you know. And recently, uh, uh, hundreds of different pestilence been coming out, man. But we're waiting for that one, that one that just got the whole world shook, whole lockdown and everything, man. But this is one of them. It says Russia says patience infected with deadly bacteria have escaped All right so i'm gonna read a little bit more on down it says this most this most recent anthrax anthrax that's what this uh pestilence is called it's called anthrax a serious bacterial disease of sheep and cattle causing acute and often fatal I'm not even going to pronounce that. And also transmissible to humans. Yeah, it's a, anthrax is an infection caused by a bacterial whatever the fuck, man. You know, English, man, it's, it's, it's retarded as hell. You have all these dumbass words to make you sound intelligent, but it's just it's completely babble, which is confusion. But it says this most recent anthrax incident happened in a town called basically in Russia where there is shepherd where there where there is a shepherd's encampment where over a hundred unvaccinated animals were held. According to TASS on June 30th, a local resident was sent to the hospital for anthrax after visiting the settlement where horse meat was seemingly consumed and four other people were also infected. So basically, these niggas, <laughs> these Edomites in Russia, man, they have a whole uh, encampment, right? Encampment, where over 100 animals are there, right? It says unvaccinated animals, but vaccinated, unvaccinated, it doesn't matter. Vaccinated animals is wicked as hell, you know? But, um, it's a lot, yeah, hold on. Yeah, but it says where, uh, they went to, um, Shepherd's Encampment. Basically a, a huge farm where hundreds of different animals are at. But it says after where, where horse meat was seemingly consumed and four other people were also infected. So basically in that camp, in that, uh, farm, they also, they, 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 they kill and butcher and consume which is eat horses it says it right here where horse meat was seemingly consumed man first off you ain't supposed to eat no goddamn horse man that's going way off but you know how these edomites is man they'll eat any fucking thing man anything you know these these motherfuckers eat human willingly and it's not even a famine yet and these motherfuckers eat babies and shit you know, these, these Edomites are fucking gross, man. They they threw, you know. In the kingdom, that shit ain't going to be going on, man. <laughs> they diets are going to be righteous, lawful, you know. Doesn't mean we ain't going to put our foot in your ass. That's going to happen every day, every minute, every second. You know, but that's another lesson for another time. But basically, these damn Edomites were eating horse meat. And they got infected with something called anthrax. Basically a pestilence of people eating unlawful fucking meat, you know? So this anthrax can also come from, you know, if you want to be technical about it, you know, it can come from eating unlawful animals, unlawful things that you're not supposed to consume, you know? So there are pestilence that our power is going to create that will fuck you up for eating, you fuck you two thirds up for eating pork, for eating shrimp, crab, lobster, uh, pfft, horse, you know, all these different abominable animals that you're not supposed to consume, right? 
It says uh, patients were supposed to stay hospitalized until they no longer showed any signs of infection. But four, but four have apparently escaped the hospital. Right. So these people that got infected with this anthrax, right, this this pestilence, um, they got infected. They're at the hospital and they just escaped knowing that they're infected. It says TSA, TSSS. So like a TASS reported that the patients were in satisfactory condition, but should have not been discharged until all manifestations of the disease on the skin have healed. Right. So they weren't supposed to leave the hospital yet because they still had the anthrax in their DNA. They were still infected with it. And apparently when you get anthrax, right, you have these huge sores, blisters all over your skin, all over your body, man. You know, that's how bad this pestilence is. You know, it shows forth through your skin. And reading more about it, it says that you can um, get it all over your skin, get it all in your lungs or in your intestines. You know, that's how bad this pestilence really is, man. And these people that got infected with that, they left the hospital still infected with it, man. And more likely, this pestilence, you know, our power is probably going to upgrade it a little bit to make it uh, contagious. You never know, man. This could start a whole lockdown, a whole new pandemic. Abaratazah, man, Lord willing, you know. But this is uh, the scripture I'm going to get is Matthew chapter 24, verse 6 through 8. And it says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Recently, Ukraine got its lick back on Russia. Because we, we all know, for us brothers that have been paying attention, we all know that Russia been kicking Ukraine's ass. You know, I recently read that um, Russia got 280 kids recently, Ukrainian kids, to zombify them, to brainwash them. You know, I recently read that in an article, man. You know, so basically Russia not not only been killing these motherfuckers off and ravishing their women, they've been uh, kidnapping the kids, taking them back to Russia and brainwashing them. But the, they didn't say brainwash. They said zombified them. And then when you read on down, it said brainwash. But, hey, you never really know what they doing to them kids, man. Probably could be turning them to zombies. We all know that Russia like doing crazy ass experiments, right? Super soldier serum, etc. You know, so you really don't know what the fuck they're doing. They use the word zombified, you know. But, yeah, like I said, Ukraine recently got it, uh, its lick back against Russia by sending a couple missiles. I believe they blew up a fucking bridge. You know, they're not playing, man. So, you know, these are wars and rumors of wars. These are nations. It says, for nation shall rise against nation, the kingdom against kingdom, man. They, they going at it, man. They going at each other, you know. And it says... And there shall be famines, right? Famines, food shortages, man. Which Abaratiza, I get that lesson next, because I, I have a I have a lesson planned for famine, right? You know, recently I read a, a article that said there's 2.8 billion people that are already suffering due to food shortages, man. And I read another article that there are shortages of specific items at the grocery stores. A couple of them that I'm gonna uh, name uh, that I read it said eggs, right? Uh, baby formula, you know, lettuce. <laughs> One of them even says sriracha. <laughs> but uh, uh, numerous uh, other things. Also rice. And rice is one of those foods that, you know, a lot of us, you know, buy because it's cheap. You know, for us, you know, for, for, for us jakes that don't got, got money like that, man. You know, rice is one of the number one, one things that you get because it's cheap and it's easy to make. It's very affordable, man, but they got a shortage on rice. So people are not going to be able to buy the foods that they need when they're struggling. You know, so the famine is going to be very severe, man. Very severe. And it says, and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. You know, pestilence this is what this lesson is all about. You know, anthrax. You know, a deadly bacteria said. And four patients recently escaped. The hospital having this deadly uh, uh, bacteria pestilence, man. You know, this could really start 
a, 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 a global uh, pestilence, man, to have a, a whole nother lockdown. Worse than COVID. COVID. If you know what that is, man, you know, I'm not going to say it due to the goddamn, um, you know, algorithm that YouTube, man, they recently striked my damn, uh, my main YouTube channel. So now I got to go on 2.0 and I got to go, uh, well, I've been going on Rumble recently, but, you know, I'm going to put it into the description, you know, a link at the bottom so y'all can click it. But, um, yeah, but peasants, like I said, is what this lesson is all about, man, you know, and think about it, man. It's not only this one that just happened with this anthrax, right? There's multiple ones of uh, malaria. Uh, I believe you get that uh, that that's contracted from um, what's it called? Mosquitoes, right? And you know Esau built mechanical e uh, uh, mechanical um, mosquitoes with his technology, man. That uh, you know he 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 dips it in fucking uh, malaria. These pestilences, and they stick people with it, man. You know. So there's different pestilences going on. A few months ago, I believe, uh, about three, four months ago, a hundred people got infected, right? This was in Michigan at a paper mill. It said a hundred people got infected from a bacterial, no, no, not a bacteria, a fungus, a deadly bacterial fungus, man. A hundred people got, got sick from it and one even died from it. And this was a few months ago and you ain't heard shit else about it recently man i wonder why that is see esau like covering shit up you know one article come out about something then you don't hear about it again because he's trying to cover it up man because he knows that these are prophecies you know that we that us hopeful elect abu razzab we're those men we're waiting for these things man we're trying to go home so seeing the destruction of this kingdom you know pestilence is happening famines happening earthquakes happening war is happening we see all these things and we know that Yahweh Shai is on his way, man. And he, he don't like that shit. That's why he's trying to cover up his, his damn mess. But earthquakes, man, earthquakes. I like mentioning this one, man. The recent earthquake that happened a few months ago was in Turkey and Syria, man. Over 50,000 people got smashed up, killed, demolished in that earthquake. And apparently they still un uh, 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 retrieving bodies from the wreckage, man. That's how bad that earthquake was. That's how much buildings and, and property was destroyed due to that earthquake. And it says in diverse places. In diverse places. Many different, far away places, man. See, the thing is, it's not going to hit Babylon right away. It's going to hit in these other places like Russia, you know what I mean, due to this pestilence. You know, uh, Russia, uh, you know, Iraq and, you know, um, you know, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? In diverse places, many different places, far away places. It says all these are the beginning of sorrows. You know, so this is the beginning to the end. You know, so seeing all these things come to pass, it's a very beautiful thing, man. It's a real big faith booster, man. Uh, you know, you us brothers, you know, we have to be very patient, you know, and continue to be diligent in this work, man, and wait. So next scripture, man. This lesson is about pestilence, man. Get this scripture real quick. I'm going to get into good news translation, man. Because this is a long scripture, you know, a long, uh, yeah, long scripture, long verses. So I'm going I'm to I'm keep it real quick. Get into good news translation. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 58 through 62. It says, if you do not obey faithfully all of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai's teachings, that are written in this book and if you do not honor the wonderful and awesome name of the lord your god yahweh bashim yahushai and real quick notice how it says if you do not honor the wonderful awesome name name right see the names are very 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 important when you come into this truth man when you find out that you're a hebrew israelite and all these things man Right. The names are very, very important. They're key to, to this truth, man. You have to know the names. You know, his name is not God. His name is not Yahushua, Yahweh, you know, your ancestors or whatever you have heard. Jesus Christ, you know, those are all false names. You know, the father's name is Yahweh. 
Yahweh, Yahweh, which means he is, he exists in his son's name, man. Very important is Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. He saves, he delivers, man. These names are very, very important, man. Salakia, um, man, call her line like Yahweh Shai, man. Uh, I just saw a chariot, man. That was a spirit, man. Me breaking down the names, I, man. <laughs> oh man, Salakia. Um, uh, man, call her line like how about his shimmy outside, man. Oh, that was beautiful. But um, the names are very, very important. They're key to this truth. They are key to your salvation. You know. So you have to honor that name. You have to, you have to honor, respect, and call upon those names, man. It's very fucking vexing. Think about how he feels when you call him another name, knowing that you know his name. He's all right, all right. In your time of calamity, you're going to be calling on my real name, but it's going to be too late because you want to call on Yahweh and Yahushua, right? For example, think about that, not that nigga, that nigga. <laughs> I say it like that, that nigga, Nathaniel, you know, the leader of IS, uh, oh, no, no, IUIC. Right? Nathaniel, the leader of IUIC. This nigga got sick, right? And he started calling on the names. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, giving honors and respect to the name. And then when he got he wasn't sick no more, he went back to calling on Christ. You know what I mean? That just shows you, man. He he does not honor or respect the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. And he's he's gonna get judged for that, man. You know, and you have a lot of these jakes that do know the names, that understand the names, that have been told the true names, right? And you can't say I'm wrong because the brothers, we be out there on the highways and byways every week, yelling out the names, screaming out the true names. Yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shai, man? And what do these damn two third niggas do? They laugh, they scoff, they revideo core because. You know, roasting uh, 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 the brothers out there on the highways and byways, Revito recording them is a trend now. I just recently saw a video of, of these fucking jakes, um, you know, roasting. Roast, it was a bug out camp, but it, the, the point still stands, man. You know, when they see you with fringes, they, they, they want to laugh and scoff, man, because it's a trend. It's funny to them. They think it's a joke. But when that time comes, man. When Jacob's trouble comes, Ezekiel 33 and 33, then they shall know that a prophet have been among them. I believe in the GNT, it says, when all these terrible things happen to them, and lo, it will happen. Then they shall know that a prophet have been among them, man. And what are these terrible things that will happen to these niggas? These niggas, <laughs> you know, deadly pestilences, a very, very, very severe famine. World War Three, these niggas might get drafted or ISIS might come, man. ISIS, I don't know if you know what ISIS is, but, you know, they are very deadly and torturous niggas. ISIS, man, I don't know if you've seen their gore videos, bro, but they chop niggas' heads off, man, slowly. With knives that are not even sharp, they're very dull. And they be, they be cutting niggas' necks, cutting until, the, until you start sh fucking gushing blood, man. All these things will fucking take place and it will go, it, they will go berserk on you two thirds, man, because you do not want to hearken to Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. You do not want to honor and respect his name, man. But Salakia, man, uh, let me continue. Verse 59. He will send on you and on your descendants, right? You and your children, you know? You and your descendants, Salakia, you and on your descendants incurable incurable diseases and horrible epidemics that can never be stopped right incurable that means it's not going to be cured it's impossible to cure like how esau says it's impossible to cure cancer <laughs> which we know is false right but let's go to that word epidemics man it means outbreak plague right outbreak man pandemic Illnesses, disease, 
but it says widespread illnesses and diseases, man. You know, and these things will take place, and it's not. And, and think about it. With the scripture that I just got, right? It said pestilences. It didn't say pestilence. It says pestilences with an S. Pure, pure. It's like you know my pronunciation is fucked. It's damn English tongue, man. It's garbage. But it has an S at the end, man. And when, when, a, when there's an S at the end of something, it usually means multiple, like brother. Brother is one brother. Brothers, multiple brothers. Pestilence, one pestilence. Pest pestilences, multiple. So there's going to be multiple pestilences in these days, man. And they're coming out with articles every day about a new fucking pestilence, man. Think about this one. It says, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> so like it. That, 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 that part funny to me. Houston, we have a problem. Officials warn of 128% spike in syphilis cases among women. You know, so that's a deadly pestilence for you whole ass women. See these things, see these herpes and AIDS and all these different, um, you know, sexually transmitted diseases happen because women are being sluts. Women having multiple partners. That's why all these damn uh, uh, pestilence are going on, man, because you women want to be hoes. But guess what? Your how about Shimei Shai is going to judge your ass. There's a spike of 128 percent. 128% spike of syphilis because you women want to be hoes, man. That's a new, that's a pestilence, man. That is a pestilence on your ass. Epidemics, right? Outbreaks, pep, uh, pandemic, right? This, uh, uh, widespread diseases and illnesses, man. You know, these, these four people that ate that horse meat left the hospital while having the pestilence in them. And that and that, that's, that shit is contagious, man. And like I said, multiple pestilences, man. And it says that can never be stopped, right? Never be cured. And recently, I found well, not recently, uh, uh, a little while ago, I found out that there's a hunt, there's 302 medications, right? That 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 the world have have a shortage for, man. So soon you're not going to be able to go to your local pharmacy, your local Walgreens or, or, or CVS, right? And get the prescription that you need because they have a shortage for it, man. So these horrible, so these incurable, right, that cannot be cured, diseases and horrible epidemics that can never be stopped. They, uh, epidemics, outbreaks that can never be stopped, man. So these diseases and these outbreaks of different pestilences are going to be incurable. And they can never be stopped, man. It says he will bring on you once again all the dreadful diseases you experienced in Egypt and you will never recover. He will send all kinds of diseases and epidemics that are not mentioned in this book of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's laws and teachings. And you will be destroyed, man. Man, think about that, man. That are not mentioned in this book, in this Bible, man, the Holy Bible, the King James Bible, man. You know, there are going to be diseases, right? Plagues, illnesses that are not mentioned in this Bible, man, that he's going to he's going to create newly created diseases for you two third jakes, man, to kill y'all niggas off. Right. He's going to create newly created pestilences, man, for you damn two thirds. That's why you need to get right and come back and repent sincerely until you how about Shemel Shai, man, so you can avoid those things, man. You know, he's going to go all out in, in Jacob's show, man. It says, although you become as numerous as the stars in the sky, only a few of you will survive because you did not obey the Lord your God, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. So when it says that part, although you become as numerous as the stars in the sky, it's talking about the Israelites, man. You know, you you the, the, the nation of Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as numerous as the stars of the sky. The scriptures uh describe the nation of Israel as the sand of the sea that cannot be measured nor numbered, you know, roughly paraphrasing, you know. And that's how our power describes the nation of Israel, the sand of the sea. Think about that. 
You know, you go to the beach, right? Look at all the sand. He's talking about the Israelites, that, 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 that you're the sand of the sea, man. Think about it. Think about it. The sand at the beach, it can't be numbered. It can't be measured because it's infinite. Same as the Israelites, man. There's too many of us. We all over the damn world. We all over the globe. We can't be numbered. We can't be measured, man. It says, although you become as numerous as the stars in the sky, only a few of you will survive. Only a few of you. And who is that few that he's talking about? He's talking about the elect, the 144,000 that are going to be beamed up in them chariots and receive salvation, man. You know, before you two third jakes, man, y'all going to get it, man. Y'all going to receive judgment of a deadly ass pestilence, a newly created pestilence suited for your wicked ass, man, because you want to continue to be wicked because you did not obey the Lord. Your how about Shimei Shai, man? done with that scripture man it's jeremiah chapter 21 verse 5 through 6 i'm gonna get the good news translation because i know this this lesson has probably already been long i know i've been rambling but hey man that's the spirit can't shut the spirit off if it got something to say especially when it's prophesying <laughs> it says i will fight against you with all my might that's the lord talking that's your how about hashem how shy talking man he said i will fight against you with all my might, my anger, my wrath, and my fury. Ooh. You know, the Lord gonna go all out in Jacob's show, man. It's gonna be a fucking killing spree, man. A divine killing spree. It says, I will kill everyone living in this city. People and animals alike will die of a terrible disease, man. Disease. Right? Hold on real quick. Disease, man. I know you know what disease, man, but, you know, we got to go into words. It says illness, sicknesses, right? Ill health, infections, right? Hold on. Plagues, pestilence, virus, right? Contagion, you know? Pandemics, epidemics, man. All these things align, all these words align to each other, man. Because deadly pestilences, a deadly outbreak is about to take place in Babylon the Great to kill you damn two-thirds off. And you damn heathens, but you niggas don't matter. There's no salvation for the heathens, only for the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right? But he said, I'm going to kill everyone in this city, man. So everyone, you damn two-third Israelites that don't want to come back and serve you all by Shemiah Shai. You damn fucking heathens, man. You Edomites, you Moabites, you... You Ammonites, you Japhites, you know, etc. I'm not going to name all the damn heathens, you know. But he going to kill everyone, man. Everyone. But he going to protect his elect. You know, the ones that serve you. How about Shemel Shai? The ones that are out here on these highways and byways preaching. You know, prophesying, man. Doing these lessons. Following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability. Right? The ones that call on his name. Which is your how about Shemel Shai, man. Those are his elect. Those are the few that are going to be uh, uh, preserved in a time of trouble, man. A time of tribulation. It says, I will kill everyone living in this city. Babylon the Great. Right? People and animals alike will die of a terrible disease, man. A terrible disease. A terrible outbreak pestilence, man. Very terrible, man. You know, let's go into that word terrible a little bit. <laughs> Dreadful, awful, horrific, horrifying, horrible, horrendous, atrocious, abominable. Man, you know, uh, there's a scripture in Job, right? Where it talks about a pestilence that rots your arms and legs, man. That rots the skin off your motherfucking bone, man. There's the, the, our power is going to create newly created pestilences. Just like newly created uh, 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 creatures. He going to do the same thing with pestilences, diseases, right? Our power is infinite, infinite when it comes to judgment. Infinite, man. He's going to create newly created pestilences, newly created creatures, right? You know, a, a severe famine that never took place ever, right? 
you know, it, it, the time of Jacob Shovel will, man, a time like never before, man. Let me get the next scripture, man. I got two more. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 4 in the Good News Translation. It says, they will die of terrible diseases, right? And who are those? Who are those they? Who were the ones that, who is that they that will die of terrible diseases? You two thirds, man. The one third are going to be saved and preserved and be beamed up in them chariots and receive salvation. Salvation. But for you two thirds, you wicked ass niggas are going to face judgment, man. Are going to face judgment. A deadly, violent, slow, painful judgment. You know, you might starve to death, which is a slow, painful death, man. You might die in war when you get drafted. Or them soldiers might come since they're already doing a fucking invasion as we speak right now, right? Because I believe a thousand fucking uh, Moabites just came across the border in Texas, right? So evasion is happening as we speak. And why do you think that is? Because World War III is about to happen, man. It's about to pop off real fucking soon, man. Wars and rumors of wars. Kingdom against kingdom. Nation against nation. No, roughly paraphrasing. Salaki, I think I wrapped that around. But, um... Are them ISIS niggas. See, the thing is, with these other nations, when it comes to war, they're very deadly. Very deadly and bloody and gore. They don't give a fuck. But for you fucking Americans... We got nothing but transformers in, in the army, man. In the military. None but transformers. Homosexual motherfuckers, man. You think they ready to kill niggas? You think they ready to chop a nigga? Nah, nah. These other nations, though, they gonna go all out. They gonna kill, but they gonna kill the fuck out of these niggas, man. I've seen, like, bro, I, like, like, watch the, watch the website. Search this up. Search up crazy shits. Crazy shits. You're going to see what these niggas do in war, man. ISIS, right? These, these motherfuckers in Iraq. These other nations, man. They be cutting niggas' throats slowly. They be chopping niggas off limb to limb, man. They be killing niggas a slow, painful death. I saw a video today, man. Fucking uh, uh, Northern Kingdom. Shot a niggas' testicles off, man. His shit blew up on camera, man. Like I was like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not even I'm not even playing, man. But that's all for you fucking two-thirds, man. It says they will die of terrible diseases. Slacky, I went on and on about that. But terrible diseases. You might experience a terrible, slow, painful fucking disease. A pestilence, man. I don't know if y'all seen that movie Deadpool. Right? The first one. But remember, when they put him in that fucking tank, right? And it took his fucking oxygen off. He looked uh, very uh, uh, deformed. Very deformed. A very, a very uh, terrible defect. And, 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 and our power can create a pestilence that make you look like that. That make you look like a Deadpool nigga. Right? <laughs> or he can create a pestilence. Instead of fucking up your skin, he can fuck up your bones. Where your bones turn to liquid. So you just you look like a fucking plastic bag filled with water or, 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 or spoiled milk. <laughs> fucking boneless. Still alive, but you're boneless. And it's not too far fetched. Don't say it's impossible, man. Don't say it's impossible. It's not far fetched for you. How about Shimiao Shai? Newly created pestilences, man. For you two thirds, man. It says they would die of terrible diseases and no one will mourn for them or bury them. Their bodies will lie like piles of manure on the ground, right? So nobody is going to mourn or bury them, man, because people dying left and right in Jacob's shovel is going to be the new norm. So normal that people are going to forget about the good old days, man, where you can walk around and nothing will happen to you. We can go to the grocery store and get everything you want. We can call your family and, and, and celebrate these wicked ass pagan holidays while you was living in liberty, man. You know, people are going to forget about those good old days. They're gonna, it's going to be so normal where seeing people dead left and right on the fucking ground.
people are not going to mourn or cry for them no more. People are not even going to go so far as to bury them, man. See, nowadays, people, when, when, when a loved one died, people fucking go crazy, man. Crying for weeks, months, years. You know, and when that person dies, they get the body, they bury them, have a fucking crazy service in a big-ass, weird-ass party, man. It's weird. It's demonic, in fact, right? But so much is going to be going on. You know, a dude might see his mom get shot in the head or die of a fucking pestilence right in front of him. And he's not going to have time to mourn, cry about it, because he has to be on a move, right? Because Jacob Shubble, everybody's going to be after everybody, man. Dog eat dog. A steady stream of bad news, right? He's not going to mourn for him, for, the, for, for his mom. He's not even going to go so far as getting the body and bury him. He ain't got no time. Ain't no time in Jacob Shubble, man. You're going to keep it on the move, man. That's how bad Jacob Shubble's going to be. It's going to be the new normal seeing people, your loved ones, drop dead right in front of you. It says they will be killed. They will be killed in war. Right? They, that draft is coming, man. When World War III go on, man, a lot of you, you Jakes, man, you're going to get drafted off. Or die of starvation. Die starving to death, man. A famine is going on as we speak, man. It says 2.8 billion people are suffering due to a famine right now as we speak. Right? So people real soon are going to die starving to death, man. And I don't know what you know what that is, man. But starving to death is a very slow and painful death, man. Very slow and very painful. The scriptures say, I believe in Lamentations chapter 5 verse 4 or 4 verse 5. Salakia getting that mixed up. But I know it's in Lamentations probably. It says, it is better for a man to die by sword than to die starving to death, man. Roughly paraphrasing, right? So it's easier and it's better, even blessed, if you get if you die by getting shot in the head, then to starve to death, man. Right? So a lot of these jakes, these wicked ass niggas, our Lord is gonna have these niggas starve to death, man. It says their bodies will be food for the birds and the wild animals, man. So th these dead bodies, right, right. It's like I didn't even break that part down. It says their bodies will lie like piles of manure on the ground. Manure is shit, cow shit. Right? So bodies are going to lie like manure on the ground. I don't know if you took it a walk, but every three steps you walk around grass, there's a, there's a pile of shit right there. That's how it's going to be for bodies, man. Every three steps you take, you're going to see bodies. Bodies, bodies, bodies. None but dead niggas all over the fucking ground, man. Every three steps you take, everywhere you go, dead people, man. Which when a dead body um, is... is unattended to for a particular amount of time that starts a pestilence man you know it says their bodies will be food for the birds and wild animals man these damn birds the these uh these big ass uh i forgot what those birds are called man but the, but scavengers right see these there are birds that we we are that are lawful to eat and there are birds that are unlawful to eat because they're scavengers man when they see a dead body or a dead animal They'll they'll eat that shit. So you're gonna see a lot of these big ass fucking birds that you've never seen before eating these dead bodies, man. You know, and wild animals, right? You're gonna see some wild ass animals in Jacob's show. You might even see a lion eating this nigga. And newly created creatures that our power is gonna create for you two thirds to hunt y'all niggas down, man. You know, and uh, I'm gonna end it off with this simple scripture. Simple scripture. It says this is Amos chapter five. Verse 4. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, unto the house of Israel, which is you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Seek ye me, and ye shall live. So seek the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and you're going to live. You're going to be protected. You're going to be fed in those times of Jacob's shovel, man. You know, I'm going to see if I'm going to get this scripture real quick, real quick, real quick. I know I made this lesson probably long. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6 through 7. Seek ye the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Shai, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And how is the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Shai being found? How can you find him right now? 
as we speak. You, you can find them with the servants, the prophets. We're still out here preaching. We're still out here posting lessons. That's how you can find the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Listening to the servants of prophets, the men that he set up to teach his holy word, man. To teach you and warn you of the times to come. It's like it. It says, call ye upon him while he's near. Call ye upon him. Call upon his name, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. While he is near. He's near right now because the servants of prophets are still out here preaching. Right? It says, let, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Right, man. So you wicked, you wicked jakes, man. You got to turn from your wicked ways, man. And you got to be changed spiritually and start serving our power, man. You have to change your wicked ass ways. Not for us, but for him. You owe him everything. You owe him your fucking life, man. You know? So it says, let the wicked forsake his way, man. Change your way. Change your direction. Because you going left. You need to go right. You need to chase your how about Shimei Shai. That's a direction that you need to go to, man. It says, and let the unrighteous man his thoughts, man. You need to change your thoughts, man. You know? The renewing of your mind. You need to become a new creature, man. You know, instead of thinking about, like when it says, and the unrighteous man, his thought, a little example, right? An average stake thinking about chasing a bag, chasing money, the riches of this world. But the righteous, the wise, are chasing Yahweh Bashim al Shai, man. Because we know what is waiting on the other side if we continue to be faithful unto him and do the will of him, man. So you have to change your ways and change your mind, your spirit, right? It says, and let him return unto the Lord. Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Right. You need to return to the Lord. You need to repent. Right. You need to repent. You need to change. Right. And he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, Yahweh Shai, for he will abundantly pardon. Right, man. See, if you sincerely repent and turn back to our power, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, he will have mercy on you. He will forgive you for those things because he sees that you're trying. He sees that you are repenting from the wicked things that you've done. He sees that you're doing what he asked you to do, right? So he's going to have mercy on you. He's going to forgive you and he will abundantly pardon, right? In the GNT, it says something better, I, th I believe. It says, it says, yeah, uh, hold on. Let them turn to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. He is merciful and quick to forgive. Our power is really quick to, to forgive you, man. If you sincerely repent, if you sincerely change your ways and forsake your wicked way. You know? But I hope that was an edifying lesson, man. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahak, Wadash. Forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. I want to give double honors and respect to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that push 100% this truth, man. Shalom.